Hey everyone, in this next video I'm going to show you how to uh, use JavaScript to set a lookup field on the account. We're going to set the primary contact value um, to my contact on load. So we're going to extend our on load function. So we have our existing on load function that does some stuff. We're just going to create a new function and we're going to be doing this uh, for a bunch of different other uh, useful uh, functions that are out there. So function let's call it set lookup we'll pass execution context that's the first parameter we'll do a try catch block and then in the try we want to get our form context right so that's execution context dot get form context and then we want to initialize um, a brand new array, which is going to help us so that we can pass in an object into the uh, primary contact field um, on the account on load later. So we'll call this uh, lookup value. <clears throat> and this is equal to a new array. And then we'll take that existing lookup value field and its first index and take that and convert that into a new object because that's what we really want. Okay. Next thing we want to do, just make some room here, is we want to uh, set the ID, the name, and the entity type. So we're going to hard code these values um, based on my contact. So lookup value index zero dot ID. This is where we want to pass in the literal GUID of our contact. So my contact GUID is this value here. I'll pop it in here and then I'll terminate this statement. And then my lookup value here. Now we're going to do the next one, which is the name. So it's a complex, it's an object that we have to pass into a lookup field. It's, you just can't pass a single value to it and expect it to work. <clears throat> Here I'm going to pass in my name, which is exactly the same name as the contact. And then I'm going to pass in what is called the entity type. And what is the entity type? It's the contact and make sure it's lowercase. This could be account, it could be a custom entity, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that your schema, your logical schema name for your entity type is correct here. And finally, how do you actually set the value? Easy, form context, dot get attribute, primary contact ID is the name of the field, uh, set value and then what do you think we're going to pass here would we pass in lookup value index zero or would we pass in the object itself would we pass in the array mm. well let's see i'm going to pass in lookup value okay perfect so lookup value is actually going to um, essentially be the, the, uh, object that's being passed over with, um, uh, index of zero. And then that index has a variety of child nodes that have values, ID name and entity type. Okay. So let's go ahead and, um, deploy our code. This will load quicker. Sometimes it's better to just close it and reopen it. Oh, no, there it goes. All right, so here's our old function. Let's replace this with our new one. 
So we got two functions in here and it's just going to keep growing as I make more videos. I'll save this. I will publish it. Let me make sure that I terminate everything. Yeah, everything looks good. All right, phenomenal. Now, you're probably wondering, how are we going to get this to actually happen? Well, what you have to do is you have to add the event handler, right? So what's our, the name of our function? It's called set lookup. Pass execution context as the first parameter. Hit OK. Save and publish your form. And then notice how right now this on this form, the primary contact is blank. I'll refresh it. It's still blank. Now I'm going to clear my cache. And see if we can get that lookup to populate with my contact record for the primary contact value. And there it is. So on load of the account, I have the primary contact and obviously that quick view form is showing some of my information, very cool. So does this, is this scalable? Does this work on other accounts? Probably. Uh, let's take a look. <laughs> of course it does. Um, just did it right here. I'm the primary contact on this one. Anytime, notice how it's unsaved though, right? Because I just on load changed the value of primary contact with that JavaScript function. And so it, it wants me to save the record or not. So anyways, um, I'm going to disable that function because I don't want to be the primary contact on every single one of these records. There'll probably be another video for using that, but, um, that's all you have to do to set the lookup field value using JavaScript and the Dynamics uh, 9.0 Web API. Thank you so much for watching.